Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Hopefully this is going to be a short video because I have a quick unboxing of not a watch and not a strap but uh, something that we always use. Yeah, so let's open this up. Okay, there is a card. Yes, so this is something from Crown and Buckle. Um, yeah, I thought it's some kind of a discount card, but it's just a thank you card. All right, so, okay. All right, so this is a spring bar tool, <laughs> right? So um, why did I purchase this? Well, you know, I always use this trusty uh, Bergeon spring bar tool. Let me, is, is it right? Addition. So yeah, this is the trusty Bergeon spring bar tool that I've been using for the longest time. I think the tip has started to worn off maybe or still in good condition. And yes, definitely this pin here, it's, uh, it's not in good condition, it's slightly bent, yeah. So yeah, one of the reasons I bought this is like I've been looking for like a travel size uh, spring bar tool that I can carry with me anywhere. Okay, so sometimes I travel with uh, different watches and sometimes like for example, you know, when we are wearing this, you know, to the office, uh, maybe in the morning it's slightly cold, you know, or maybe the air conditioner in my office is slightly colder. Maybe this is not a good example, but you know, there are watches that has like several uh, position of micro adjustment. And sometimes, you know, you will need to adjust the watch, you know, after lunchtime, maybe it's getting hotter or when you are, you know, going out from the office, when you're out in the field or you're doing some customer service works or things like that, you will have to be out in the sun and you will sweat and you will need to adjust the size a little bit. So I always has had to rely on, you know, what I, what I did was I sometimes like get myself a paper clip and then I push this and try to like fiddle and move it to the next position. But that's, uh, you know, sometimes it's tough. And up to a point that I have um, used like a seam ejector tool. Just, just hold on a moment. I'll, I'll show you what I have. Okay, so this is my car key. So I always have this this thing here. Um, this is a spring bar or SIM card ejector tool that you know uh, you can use to change SIM card on the fly. You know if you have multiple SIM cards and you know if you're traveling. So I use this not to change SIM card because I carry around my car keys in my pocket anyway. So when I need to, you know. Uh, do some changes on the micro adjustment. I will just get the spring bar tool, push this and you know, adjust it. And this is uh, easy to carry and it comes with, uh, I don't know, a nice uh, leather pouch. Um, this one, I cannot remember. Maybe I bought it off uh, AliExpress. Maybe I bought it off somewhere else. But if I can find a link, I will just uh, put it down in the description box below. All right. So yeah. So I already have like a pin. So I've been wanting to have like a really, uh, tr I mean, a, a true spring bar, you know, for example, if I, you know, sometimes if I'm really traveling, I just bring like one or two watches and I would like to, you know, swap out the bracelet to a piece of say, um, leather strap. And I always find myself, you know, trying to get a hold of a spring bar tool. But this one, I think it will or may not. I'm not too sure. It's uh, to me, it's still kind of big. I thought it's gonna be smaller, but yeah, maybe it will have to do. And the good thing that it comes um, not only with the uh, fork type of uh, spring bar tool, but also a pin tool. But anyhow, since I already have a pin tool on my car key, I will hopefully I will be able to attach this on my car keys. So I will have a combination of both a, a fork type a spring bar tool and also the pin tool. Okay, so this one, uh, I think can be removed. Yes. Move this out of the way. 
so this you can actually remove it out and you know put in a, a the pin type but uh, unfortunately i cannot keep both in a single case um i think there might have been a missed opportunity here you know if they were to change this to a hollow end and they put a cap something like this and it will be a storage compartment for that uh, pin type you know it doesn't necessarily have to be threaded in it's just like a hollow tube with a cap and you can store that if you need that but anyhow with this combination well i hopefully <laughs> i might be able to be a little flexible in my daily life with different watches and different watch straps so yeah i think that's it for this uh, short video yep, let me know if you find this helpful and yeah i think uh, you know most of you should get something that will help you to especially on the micro adjustment part this one optional this one i would say it doesn't necessarily has to be a steam ejector tool but you know something that will help you with the micro adjustment all right so that's it for this video if you're new to this channel please help to subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot and yep take care and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye, -bye. oh yeah one last thing if you are traveling on a flight maybe it's a better idea to have this uh, stowed in your luggage because you know you do not want them to say that hey this is gonna be a tool that you can stab somebody to death all right so yeah just bear that in mind all right see you guys